Hey everybody and welcome to Orion Trail. So I did a uh, demo video of this one when it was on Kickstarter and it is now in early access. So there's a quite a bit more to the game so I figured I'd try it out. Uh, if you're not familiar with the game it is basically uh, the Oregon Trail but with a Star Trek twist to it. We're going to hit point A to point B uh, encountering dangerous things and sending off plenty of red shirts to die. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here though. I have already done the first... There's no tutorial. There's obviously lots of things coming soon. Um, I went through the first mission, which is the Milky Way. And I have not tried Ursa Major yet. The home sector of the Urzans. It remains mostly uncharted by Galaxy Force. It'll be a tough task to bear. Bear? No, it's bear. So the first thing we have to do is we have to choose a crew. And, uh, oh, first we got to pick our captain. So each uh, officer has different stats. And you want a, a, a nice variety of stats to make it through this. I suppose maybe you could do, like, all attack and maybe get through. I don't know. But, uh, you know, maybe I should pick... This guy has a nice... He's got three different stats. Maybe we should do this guy. Andrew? Come along, Andrew. I can change your name, too. One of the first Urzans to join Galaxy Force, Jensen's fur was turned green after drinking some kind of radioactive energy drink on a dare. He's ridiculously excited to fly his own ship. Yes, and his name is now Captain Nook. Welcome aboard, Captain Nook. Choose my officers. All right, so now we need to sort of pick some varieties. We have, because of Mr. Nook here, we have a nice variety. But we should get... Um, maybe something like... See, he has tactics and a bit of a... We'll take Yelsib. Yelsib? Yeah, come on, Yelsib. And, all right, we need... I need some science, that's for sure. And none of these guys have... Well, you have a little bit of science. Sigvi. Um, we could take Quista. She's quite a diplomat. Or we have Danalog. <laughs> has some... <clears throat> has some attack abilities. You know, let's go... Let's let's talk our way through, through some things. Come on, Quista. Next up, we need science. We have no science. Oh, we're in trouble. No science on this ship. All right. So do I pick the tactics guy, or do I pick the assortment guy, Lake, or do we just kill things? All right, yeah, this will be our ship. Crude Star Crush. We're going to go... Where's my stats? I can't see my stats now. We are all attack and all diplomacy. <laughs> That's how we do things. Uh, so yeah, so we are going to attempt to make our way through this and get to here. Um, the biggest issue is running out of food, food and fuel, and depending on my actions... Crew is always also an issue. So we have three choices to where to go. Um, as you can see, this one will most likely give us food. This one will give us fuel. This one will give us something random. Um, I'm going to take the food route. Even though it might be a little bit longer. If I have an opportunity to get food, I'm going to do it. Because we go through it pretty quick. Alien allergens. A group of adorable furry, furry aliens want to trade you food and fuel for your broken computer parts. What a deal! You invite them on board. Unfortunately, your crew's allergies kick in soon as they step out of the airlock. Okay, so we can pick the diplomacy tactic. Keep the talks going. We're going to lose some folks. Put on encounter suits. We'll lose some fuel. We don't want that. Or whip up a cure, a cure real quick, which we have no science, so we will not be doing that. We're going to uh, talk to them. Chat with the furry beast. So this is the random number generator. Check marks are good. X's, um, X's, I guess, are not good. Those are really bad, the skulls. We, oh, not only that, we lost, oh, man, that's bad. We lost crew and food. That's no way to start. All right, so let's go here. This is a random one. Hopefully we can get some food. Otherwise, this will be a real quick video. Uh, ship's computer informs you that it has achieved true artificial intelligence. It explains it has learned all it can from this ship and requests your permission to leave, taking one of its ship's shuttles with it. That was one. That was from the demo. I remember this one. So I can give it a shuttle, which will lose crew, which isn't a big deal. Plug yourself in the mainframe. I lose something random. Or, that's nice. Wipe the memory drives. I lose fuel. Well, sorry, red shirts. Uh, you're less important than fuel at this point. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man, this is terrible. Also, I lost crew and some hull. AI is convinced that this is a trick. Unable to find anything wrong with the shuttle, the AI destroys it out of paranoia, taking another one instead. Unfortunately, the second shuttle was full of crewmen, ready to take their shore leave. Sorry, guys. So I'm down to 25 crew now. Oh, we may gain some hull here. I will take that. Man, I wonder if I should take in the middle track. 
Yeah, more options. We are so low on food already. Oh, man, this is terrible. Shady dealer, your communication officer tells you that you are being hailed by an unknown vessel floating in deep space. A shady figure appears on a hollow screen, offering to give you repairs in exchange for some fuel. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going <laughs> to stick them up. And we're good at shooting things. Maybe we can not lose some people. Oh, we got a green check. You apparently, your apparently fearsome reputation precedes you. The shady figure blanches as you mercilessly blow off one of its ship's nacelles. He immediately surrenders everything in value, including a repair drone. Why can't you have food? All right, come on, give me something good. Oh, there's food here. Um, we're gonna run out of food on the way there, though. People are gonna start dying. Oh, we gotta get food. A most bizarre, bizarre, hungry and curious. You dock with a warp. Junction Bazaar. Promising goods so foreign you'll swear they are theoretical. You approach a cart loaded with glowing vegetables, ready to eat, ready to get what you want. We can ram our ship into the cart, which will lose hull. <laughs> um, propose a food. No, we're not going to do that. Examine the vegetables. We have no science. We're not doing that. Okay, so we're going to bravado it up. We're going to ram our ship into the cart. Your favorite scene from every one of your favorite movies plays out of your mind as you ram into the cart at full speed. You make sure you to duck behind your console. And half-heartedly raise an arm in front of your face. You're not scared. Just careful. Alright, give me something good. Give me some food. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 30 food. That's not going to get us very much. Splort. Luminous vegetables fly in every direction. Hilariously, may many end up right on the bridge of your ship, just like you planned. As if on cue, your weapons officer turns to you, aghast, and says, Captain, you're crazy. Cut and print. We've got the shot. Oh, there's some food. That won't get us here. But there's more food here. Because we're losing 10 food each time, so we're going to lose some people. Oh, we're down to 15 crew. Um, oh, okay. This is, an, this is an away team. This is something new. Uh, you pick up broadcasts as you pass a nearby warrior world. All are invited to pri prove their worth in the fields of glory and win fabulous prizes. Food, fame, and lifelong friendships. Death. You stroke your chin and consider a proposition. Well, heck yes. We are assembling... And away team. Now, who's gonna go? Do we want Crud to go shoot and kill everything? Or do we want the diplomat? Or the attack man? Um, I think we're gonna go and we're gonna start killing things. The away team arrives in front of the Coliseum. Banners proudly displaying their home planet or federation. Wave in the breeze. There's a buzz of excitement in the air. Your team of champions awaits your orders. Alright. Um, let's get some food first, actually. I have seven crew. Yeah. The team sets off and they find some probably edible street food in the middle of all the revelry. The team arrives at a small cluster of food carts, each offering different styles of food. Unfortunately, all of the signs are in languages that currently don't exist in the Galaxy Forces database. The away team looks to you for orders. So this is my away team down here. You have Jimmy Davis and Finnegan. And uh, led by this dude. Um, those kind of look like grapes. We could do that one. Which is... we. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look for the spiciest looking thing. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Because that's the only thing we have any kind of points in. <laughs> Alright, so this is a random who's going to die roll. Oh, we got a star. What is... Oh, oh, oh. Crud star crush. This iron will is matched by an iron stomach. After devouring entire... After a devouring entire plateful, the food cart aliens are clearly impressed and pile on a whole bunch of food. The team beams aboard a crate and crud starfish enjoys their newfound fame. Oh, yeah, Crud's got some bravado. We got some food. All right, let's begin the challenge now. Team proudly announced, proudly marches in the arena, ready to prove awesomeness, the awesomeness of Galaxy Force. Uh, we have no stats. <laughs> the team enters a large open arena, some kind of large elephant centaur towers above them menacingly, wielding some kind of tree trunk in its trunk. Anyway, it's really big and kind of scary. Crud Star Crush. Asks you for what to do next. Well, I guess we're going to try to ride the thing. Because that's that's what Crud does with his bravado. Odds are not good for the one, one of the crewmen here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It was a terrible idea. Crud Starfish <laughs> climbs up, but then immediately falls off. In an attempt to stay on, Crud Starfish grabs the creature's tail and gets thrashed around by the enraged man-creature. In its rage, the creature runs into a wall. Knocking eye. <laughs> I think it ran out of room. Okay. Ouch. The team returns to the front of the Coliseum. Yep, next challenge. We enter the arena. And, man, we need, we have nothing for this. I should have sent someone with 
more a variety of stats, I think. Team enters a gigantic labyrinth filled with what can safely assume are dastardly traps and monsters. With no clear path forward, Crud Starfish requests some orders. Do we navigate legitimately? Convince a monster to navigate to uh, guide us. Or activate the X-ray vision. Uh, so all these are zero. So all these are just going to be a guess. Um, let's do that one. Sorry, crew and odds are not in your favor. <laughs> Oh no, who we lose? Uh oh. Who we lose? The goggles are working, the team quickly finds an exit through the transparent walls, but John Pimbleton can't get over how ridiculous everyone looks. They all look like skeletons. A giant worm pops out, spits acid, and John Pimbleton becomes a skeleton. Oh, I'm sorry, John. You'll be missed, John. Let's finish this. We march into the Coliseum one last time. What could that final challenge be? Oh, yes. Mountains of what appear to be ice cream line the arena. Weirder still, there doesn't there doesn't seem to be an, an obvious opponent. The aliens in the stands watch breathlessly. What are your orders? Melt it. Yes. All right, give me a star. Give me a star. I need a star. Oh, who would lose now? Somebody's dead. Sploosh! Crud Starfish has vanished, has vanquished the ice cream. Brian Holzman is so overcome with grief that this heinous crime, they dive into the goop and be, and he begins to start it, uh, scarf it down. Brian's Holman clearly forgot the adage of not swimming after or while you eat. Sorry, Brian. What do we want? We want food. Um, demands to know what they seek as a reward. We want food as a reward. 60 food, nice. Plus we get 10 more crew and a bravado. Yeah. Maybe that's our original 10 crew. All right. Nice. Yeah, we, that was our original 10 crew. Okay, so we can go here for more food. We're here for more food. Uh, oh, we're almost there. What is this one? We don't know what that is. That's more food. That's something else. Um, do we have enough fuel to make it? How much do we, fuel do we spend each time? Is it 20? Um, one, two, three. I think we need to go... No, do we go to the double food one, or we go and take this one and maybe get fuel? We might run out of fuel. I can't remember if it's 20 or 10 for each one. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One, two, three. Um, let's take this route. Double food. Um, what's this? We don't know yet. Alright, so we're at a dilemma. Do we go to the green? Um, <clears throat> most of it, most of it, I mean, Nebula are envious. Or do we go to this one? Alright, we're gonna go this way. No, I don't know. Yes, do it, do it. It's 20 fuel per thing, okay. Wow, this is not good. Food replicator revolt. The AI controlling the ship's food replicator has decided it's graduated from common food and is only willing to produce tiny portions of space gourmet meals from now on. It's only burger night, and the crew wants their burgers. So I can't afford to spend any more crew. We can sell a replicator. <laughs> there we go. While her own crew may not be a fan of chef's the the chef's AI's new rep, uh, predilication. Predilations? <laughs> I don't know what that is. You're pretty sure someone out there would be. You send out a broadcast to all of space to see if anyone is interested in making a trade. Predilections. Predilections. Right. Big words. Cool green stuff. It's not long before you are contacted, Fabulin traders. Uh, in exchange for one of your pretentious, for your one pretentious replicator. They offer two normal replicators. Nice, your old replicator spews acid all over the walls before you can pack it up. Petty machine. So we lose a hole, but we gain some more food. Okay, so now we can take the random trout, or uh, random route, or the random route. Or incredibly, an incredibly hot star, or a, let's take this one. Which one's less? Are they both the same? This one's one notch less, so let's do this one. I really hope for some fuel, because we're not going to make it. We don't have fuel. Uh, highly advanced science vessel. Up ahead, they seem to be conducting invasive and elaborate scans of your ship. You make a note, exchange your password, prepare for the take action. Uh, we're going to give them a nice missile to scan, because that's how we do things here. 
We got a lot of green choices here, so our odds are good. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice! We got fuel! Can this, the missile jet towards the helpless vessel. Boom! Target destroyed. You discover that the ship was a Vulgarian pirate pretending to be a science vessel. You smugly loot the ship, but take a few hits from the debris. Nice. Our hull is in danger, but we got fuel. We got food. We can make it to our goal. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna make it. Oh, we did it! Congratulations, Captain Nook. You have successfully traversed the Krolian Expanse in the most daring expedition. Galaxy Force honors you. The title, Strategist Superius. Nice. So that's the game. Uh, that's that. And then after that um, route, you can go on to the next one. But uh, we learned today. Oh, we lost some few folks. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, is this my crew that... I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah, we learned that uh, you don't need science. You just need guns. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, as as the um, game progresses in uh, builds, I will probably do more videos. But uh, this is how it is. It just came out on August 18th. So it just came out a few days ago. And uh, it is in early access. You can check it out on Steam. It is $9.99. But uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.